This is a gorilla tent. You can see the name up here, but we use to grow mushrooms. This is the inside where the mister starts. You can see it over there in the corner. I'm not stepping inside because it's doing its thing. That fan helps circulate the mist. As you can see, it will slowly fill up this tent. And those are our bags of mushrooms that have been inoculated. My boss does all that. I was the one that built all this. I put this giant tent together. As you can see. I hooked up all these hosings. It goes from one room to another. Now this tent is the one I manufactured and built by myself where we're gonna have a second grow room. I haven't got finished setting up yet. That's where the mister's gonna go. I'll have my sensor hanging up here to register the mister, but we'll have another set and this room will be used for our cool mushrooms. These mushrooms grow in different seasons. You have your hot ones and you have your cold ones. We'll grow the hot ones during the summer out there and the cool ones in here and vice versa in the winter time. This is, this is a little ramp I built. This is an area where we have some more bags that are waiting to go in. This section up here is a clean room. You can see there's plastic all over. I put linoleum on the floor. Those are the boss's sandals so we can go inside the clean room. We change, make sure you don't take any bacteria with you. This is the clean room. Let's see if I can't get a good shot. He's not doing anything in there right now. There's some more bags waiting. This is the entrance of the clean room I designed. I gotta change the door up. Here's some bags my boss already got inoculated. Waiting to put out there. That is a entrance way. So when we bring these bags in after they come out of the steamer, we gotta sterilize these bags before he inoculates them. He ends them to this room right here, puts them on the floor. I'm gonna set up a system where we can roll them in and out. This is where the boss does all the inoculating for the bags. These, if you can't see it, is um, mycelium they use to put inside those bags to start growing the mushrooms. I gotta change that system out. That air conditioned system needs to be a better filter on it. You don't get a lot of cold air out of it. But I gotta do a little bit more work on this place. And as you come through here, still have a little bit more work to do. Water line, of course, you can see on the ground. This is the area of our buckets where we're gonna start doing worms walks. Explain in another video. Right now, this is just mushrooms. This area in here, turn the line on. That is our Bubba's Barrels, which this is our sterilizing tank. Open up the lid. As you can see, there's a grate in the bottom of it. Sorry, it's kind of blurry on my camera. This is where we sterilize the bags before they go into the tent. Now, before we make, when we make the bags, bring them out to this device, a hopper. Everyone knows what that is. Two spots each side to give different pellets. And you also have a water hookup. And that's how we make our bags. We put them in those right there. As you can see, we fill those up with water and then the boss steams those. And once they're sterilized, then he takes them to the clean room to inoculate them. So, this is my new job. And like I said, we will be doing worm farming eventually. Which, let me show you some of those. Here's our worm farm where we are doing worms to get soil. And we'll use the soil for all kinds of stuff. And pretty much all our stuff in here, with the exception of the plastic bags, which we haven't figured out how to recycle yet, pretty much everything in here is recyclable. We reuse the paper, the cardboard gets ground up, and we use that to mix in with the mycelium that we feed to our worms. We also take our old bags, as you can see, take our old bags and we use those after they're done sprouting mushrooms and we feed them to the worms. So, I have been pretty busy here in Nebraska. Hopefully, with the help of a gentleman who wanted to do this, his name's Clem Knoll. He is the one who decided to do this mushroom thing and I showed up out of the blue about three months ago and started helping him build all this stuff. I put together the water lines that run through every room. I built this tent, put in these hoses, put in the clean room, built all the hoses on that, 
cut these racks down so they can all fit in between the doorways. Built the rack on both ends. Eventually, all this will be sealed off. Like I said, this is our main grow tent we just got started. This is the device that makes sure we get the right amount of mist, the temperature and everything. It turns itself off and on. As you can see, it's slowly starting to get misty in there. Reminds me of a Stephen King book. Nevertheless, you can see this whole thing will fill up with mist for a certain amount of hours. Maybe 20, 30 minutes. It goes through cycles. You can see he's got slits in the bags. Well, you can't see them from here, but I can see them. Yeah, this is what I've been doing since I've been here in the state of Nebraska. So, if all goes well, we will be farming mushrooms, which we're starting, and making soil and a plant elixir that will help grow your plants, vegetables, help with trees. But yeah, figured I'd make a video one of many I'm going to start putting out. If anyone has any questions about how you can get started doing something like this, contact me. There's other videos you can watch on TV. This is a very good business. The mushrooms will be growing in here from Lion's Mane to Shiitake to a variety of other ones are good for lung health, kidney health, stomach biome, you name it. These mushrooms are good for everything. So... There you go, people. Wish me luck.